Hey guys and welcome back to another more with Mora's video. Today's video is going to be get it all done chores weekend clean. I don't know. I have no idea what this video is going to be yet. I just know that we have so so much to do between Frank and I so that's why I was like thinking is it a couple's claim with me or like do chores I don't know we'll see there was stuff that we both needed to get done I actually filmed a lot yesterday so we cleaned out the whole garage because you guys know we run simply etched out of the garage right now currently in the future we would love to have an actual office space but for now that is where we have everything so that needed to be cleaned up really badly we also got new table and dining room chairs so I want to include that footage as well but today is gonna to be a majority of what I want to get done starting with the kids room so I'm actually gonna get started in Nolan's room first him and Aria both got new rugs if you guys remember we used to have a white rug in here either somebody had an accident on it something got spilled we had to get rid of it because it was like you guys saw the rug. It was like one of those like shag rugs, so it's not easily cleaned. And then Arya's had an accident on it as well. It like happened kind of around the same time. So we got rid of both of their rugs. I actually got her the same exact one that she had before. And then for Nolan, he has the same one as Arya's, but just a different color. So I'll leave those links down below for you guys because I've gotten so many questions about her rug. And I can't wait to see how his rug looks as well. But I've got to clean his room first. I've got to actually wash his sheets and vacuum everything and then I will put his rug down. I realized really quickly as I'm cleaning the kids rooms and everything I have to do upstairs that I am not gonna have enough time to mop the floors like I wanted to downstairs but that is okay because I have my dreamy vacuum mop, robot vacuum mop. It's like a vacuum and a mop and I love it. So I think I've talked to you guys about their dreamy D9 vacuum before and how we use it every single day. It has become such a lifesaver. It has made honestly my life that much easier because of how busy and hectic, especially right now with the kids being out of school. Also the engraving has been super chaotic and just a lot going on. So while I'm cleaning upstairs, it's gonna be doing the job for me downstairs. In fact, I'm gonna turn it on, I'm gonna let it vacuum, and then I'm going to attach the mop and let it do its thing down here. Okay hey guys, so I'm about to get a little technical, but of course I have to tell you guys why I love the Dreamy D9 robot vacuum so much. So first of all, it has advanced navigation and dynamic route planning. So what that means is that it has enhanced sensibility and accuracy. So it will go around things in your house, like for example, the dining room table chairs so it's still gonna vacuum everything up but it will go around everything or sometimes what I like to do is I try to pick up everything before but let's say if the kids leave something or I forget something behind it will go around that object also it will go over carpets because I do have a few rugs in the house and then we have like this area by our fireplace it's like a little bit raised where we have the slate and it will go on top of there as well because that's where a lot of Luna's hair gets on there and gets trapped so it will go on there clean everything and I also love that it has advanced app function so you guys can see I put it on the screen when I first got the vacuum all you do is download the me home app and right away it will start mapping your home so you can actually go in within the app and it has multi-floor mapping so you can do no-go zones or schedule cleanings if you want to and select rooms or real-time cleaning you can also put an area of no mopping so for example we have a rug in our living room and of course I want that to be vacuum but I don't want the mop to go on there so I will just block that off and it will not mop it at all also goes back to its dock whenever it's done cleaning and needs to recharge and here is the little mopping attachment you just put this on the bottom of your vacuum turn it on and let it do its thing like I told you guys this vacuum is two-in-one so it is a mop as well but it also has 3000 PA suction power and a 150 minute ultra long runtime you guys I will let this vacuum and it will have enough charge to also mop the whole bottom level as well I also wanted to say that this vacuum is very affordable compared to other robot vacuums that I have seen on the market I will definitely leave you guys also a coupon code and a link down below to get your own dreamy d9 vacuum it gave me a peace of mind knowing that while I was cleaning upstairs it was also doing the job and cleaning for me downstairs 
Like I said, it just makes my life that more less stressful because I know that it is helping me clean downstairs. Speaking of engraving, we just got an order. Thank you, Amanda, <laughs> for watching this. Your order just came through. But before I go, if you guys are interested in getting the Dreamy D9, I will be leaving some links and also a code down below for you guys so you guys can get a little bit of a discount. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys, this has definitely been a must have in our house. I don't know what my life would be like without it because that's how helpful it is for me. So again, links down below, check them out, get that coupon and also got a ton of laundry. I know it wouldn't be a cleaning video or a more with Moro video if you guys didn't see me at least doing one load of laundry. So I have all of this. This is all clean, by the way, clean laundry that I need to put away, but we left this here for about a week and I realized, wait, we just did the girls' laundry and I opened their closet door and their basket is almost full. And I don't know what this is. Sometimes I don't know if things are clean or dirty. So I just, just to be on the safe side. Then I actually have Aria and Nolan's clothes that I need to put away down there. And then Fletcher's clothes that I folded last night, I put in here. So I have so much clean clothes around the house. I just have to put it away, but it's just been sitting there that I probably will have to do another load of the kids' clothes. Usually what I do is I do Aria and Nolan's clothes together. I don't do them all together, but I'll do theirs together. I'll do the girls' clothes together, and then Fletcher's I will do separately, sometimes with like blankets and things like that. Oh, and I have some rugs that I washed. These are all clean rugs that I need to put away. And then, I don't know, whatever I see that needs to be cleaned, I will do that as well. First things first, I am going to set up my camera and get started in Nolan's room. So as I was editing this video, I noticed so many times the camera was moving. So if you guys see that, I tried to edit out a little bit, but I just, I wanted to leave it in because it's kind of cute. He was nudging on the tripod or trying to pull it down. So if you see that, that is what that is. But before we completely get started with cleaning the kids' rooms, I wanted to go ahead and insert the footage that I filmed or we filmed the day before of us cleaning the garage. I know I told you guys in the beginning of the video and if you have been an avid follower, then you already know that we run Simply Etched, our engraving business in our garage. And like I did say before as well, I would love to be able to have a space in the future, um, but that's just not practical right now. So we're gonna, we're gonna slowly get there and we're gonna work with what we have. But of course we have our garage for other things as well do you guys remember we made those shelves in a diy video i think that was last year but we've kind of taken it over a little bit like half of it is for our personal storage and then half of it is for our inventory and packing supplies and our boxes so we try to keep it organized but of course since we have a lot of other stuff in there like lawn stuff you know we got the lawnmower and paint and you know just household stuff in there as well so we try to make do with what we have. So I'm just organizing all of our inventory, all of our glasses, all of our boxes, because you know, when we get out in there and we're making cups, things can get very disorganized very quickly. And we're not paying attention on putting things back in the right places, we try to. So usually we'll just go in here every now and then. I like to do this every other day or every week to at least go in there and organize everything, check our equipment, make sure it doesn't need anything. And the kids always want to help. They always see us with the cups and washing them we hand wash every single one putting on the stickers packaging and they're always so curious and wanting to help I think it just makes it a little bit more special and they're also learning things in the process so I wanted to show you guys how cute Harlow was packaging up like getting the bottom of the box ready for me to be taped the cutest thing ever besides cleaning we'll go in here and we'll get some boxes ready I'll get the packing supplies ready that way when we're in the process of making cups and packing them up I can just grab a box I can grab my bubble wrap I can put the cup in the box and then get the label on it and then send it on its way so we try uh, we try to make it a little bit more smoother it's sometimes hard with the kids we really honestly have to work around the kids schedule sometimes I don't think I've really talked to you guys since our laser announcement or like our business 
announcement video like how everything is going I haven't been able to update you guys or talk about it at all so when we first started we only had the glass coffee mugs and now we have beer mugs and beer can glasses these have been really really popular and everybody has been loving these beer can glasses lately and currently right now we are working on like a wedding and bridal line so we'll have champagne flute glasses whiskey glasses glasses and let's see what else stemless wine glasses and probably the beer can glasses as well I'm in the process of working on getting that on the website so I think by the video the time this video goes up I don't know if that will be live yet but if you guys do want to check in the near future on simplyedge.com and of course follow us on Instagram and we will make an announcement there you guys will know I've gotten so many questions about wedding products and you guys it's coming coming very soon. I know I'm gonna get questions about our old dining room table and why we're getting rid of it, what happened to it. So if you guys didn't know already, Frank actually made that dining room table when we first moved into this house. So three years ago, almost three years ago, I think. And we love that table. I love that table so, so much. He made it all completely by himself. I think honestly, that's where the projects started so we can thank that table because Frank had never built anything like that before and don't worry the table is still in the family we still have it well we don't have it but we were just gonna put it in storage but for the meantime Frank's parents are gonna use it and then we will definitely keep it because like I said we love that table so much and he put so much blood sweat and tears into that table funny story well not really funny story but long story short I guess you should say is Frank originally I think was gonna make it over the weekend or like a short period of time and it turned into a longer project and he was gonna surprise me for Christmas but I think it was like a month later two months later something like that he was still working on that table why we got a new dining room table is because our table was becoming a little too small for our big family of seven we definitely needed to get a bigger table we noticed that we were super close together anytime we tried to have like family dinner or all sit at the table because we do have the other chairs at the bar but if we want to have a dinner all together at the table we were elbow to elbow there wasn't enough space so we like I said, we definitely needed to get something bigger. And I know we're already into the dining room chair. This is such a long <laughs> explanation. But I found, or I guess I've been eyeing this table for a while. Like when I first noticed that we needed a bigger table. And I noticed it or found it on Ikea. And it was an affordable price too for the size and the reviews and everything. I, you guys, if you've been following me for a while, you know I'm a huge lover of Ikea. I love their furniture, but I know not everybody does. We decided on that table when to go pick it up, and we actually got the last one, the very last one in Ikea, and I love it so much. I'll show you guys more footage of it later when I'm putting all the dining room table, or the dining room chairs around the table. I'll be sure to show you guys that here in a minute so you'll see everything turn, or how everything turned out. And then I actually found these chairs on Amazon the chairs that I wanted kind of similar to this at Ikea were expensive they're pretty expensive and I understand that dining room chairs can be just as expensive as a table so I found these on like I said Amazon and I got two of them for almost the price of the of one that you can get at Ikea so I will definitely link that down below for you guys if you want to check it out because since I've been posting about this and showed it on my Instagram, I've gotten so many questions about the chairs and the tables. So here is how the table turned out. Again, I love it so much. We probably will actually have to end up getting two more chairs because we have six, but when Fletcher grows out of a high chair, we'll definitely have to get another chair for him as well. But I am in love it makes me so sad to get rid of the other table like i said we definitely needed to we definitely needed something bigger but now flash forward to the next day i really needed to i feel like lately the cleaning videos have been me cleaning the kids rooms but that's mainly what has been needing to be cleaned especially in the summer now that they're out of school it has definitely been harder to keep their rooms clean and organized because they're always wanting to do something now 
now that they're out of school and playing outside and I can totally understand that I have them clean their room or like try to keep it tidy as much as possible but I really needed to go in there and vacuum their rooms and tidy them up like <laughs> in sure going around the corner so usually I know I'm gonna get questions like how do you clean how are you able to clean with the kids so also have to remember Frank is also at home too so we do alternate and shift jobs a lot so I'll get some cleaning done he watches the kids he gets some work done I watch the kids that's generally how it goes and that way each of us can get to spend time with the kids one-on-one -on -one as well so it kind of works it does work it just can be sometimes stressful but a lot of the times Fletcher because he is such a mama's boy he just wants to be around me and he's so good too so I can usually get cleaning done and he can just walk around he can play with his toys he just look at him he just follows me around and literally watches me vacuum that's what he does but sometimes he does have to get or sometimes he does get into some mischief so I have to close the bathroom door or close the other kids door um, we do have a gate at the top of the stairs too so I just let him walk around and play around but like I was saying it since the kids are out of school it's just been harder to keep up with everything and I de definitely try my best um, and then they do help out a lot as well but Today, or this weekend in particular, I wanted to go ahead and get their rugs down in their room. I told you guys I got new rugs for Aria and Nolan's room, and I will definitely leave a link for these as well. Everything that I've mentioned in these videos, I should probably say this. Anytime that I mention a product or talk about a product, if I can link it, you guys, I will definitely link it and it will be down below. And I want to give a shout out to the ones that remind me when I don't link something. So you guys are real, the real MVPs when I forget to do that because sometimes that happens. But like I was saying, I got some new rugs for their room. So I went ahead and put that down in both of their rooms and I made sure to pick up all their room or pick pick up everything in their room, put the blankets away, make the bed. I get questions about the this bed all the time. Anytime I show myself like making the bed or anything in a video or washing it, everyone's like, these are perfect for bunk beds. And I agree, they are perfect because you just have to zip them up. And they are from the company Betty's definitely check them out they have given me a coupon for you guys and I well I've had this coupon code for a long time if you guys have watched the makeover video with Aria so I hope it still works if it does I will leave that down below for you guys so you guys can get I think it's either 15 or 20 percent off your beddies but like I was saying it is perfect for bunk beds because you don't have to worry about tucking it in perfectly and the hassle of making a bed with a bunk bed it's literally kind of like a sleeping bag I don't know how to explain it like it's it's a like a fitted comforter on it and you just unzip it on the sides to make the bed so super convenient and I went ahead and put Aria's rug down I loved this rug so 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 much I love the colors of it it kind of ties in with the rest of her room she has some blues and pinks and yellows they also have different colors in that rug as well I know I showed you guys the one in Nolan's it's the same uh, brand or I guess the same line or I don't know it's the same rug just in different colors and they also have like more of a neutral one as well but let me know where you guys find yourself like doing laundry in the weirdest place like I was <laughs> I just planted myself right in the hallway it was just it was such a small load of laundry that it was just like some towels and hand towels I was just like I'm just gonna sit in the hallway and do it <laughs> So I've already mentioned this on my Instagram. You guys need to go follow me on Instagram because I feel like I spoil things a lot or I'd go ahead and tell you guys and update you guys a lot on there first. So go follow me on Instagram. But somebody asked what our next project is going to be because we haven't done one in a while. I know I just did the playhouse and Frank hasn't done one in a while. So I wanted to show you guys the laundry room because that will most likely be our next project. We're thinking about putting up a sliding barn door. Frank just made one for his parents. So I loved it and it's cheaper to DIY it yourself and make it yourself. And you can buy all the stuff on Amazon, like the track and everything. So we're thinking about doing a DIY on that maybe in the next few weeks so soon hopefully because our the way our laundry room has is set up if you guys have seen it before 
but behind that door we put in a folding shelf but once you open that door it you lose so much space in that laundry room and you have to close the door to get behind there so I think if we take out that door and put a sliding sliding barn door, we will have so much more space. It will open up the laundry room more. So let me know your guys' thoughts. Would you guys want to see that? Do you want to see a DIY? Have you missed Frank's projects? Maybe suggest some projects. We want to redo our pantry as well and put like some wood shelves in there. So we have ideas and it's just a matter of executing them. I've talked about this so many times. So we definitely miss doing projects on this channel. And like I said, stay tuned if that's what we decide to do. Want to be silly, baby, dance the night away. I'll kick my shoes up if I want. Let yourself be free and maybe you will find that there is more to like than being pretty. So I need a little help getting the bed. If you guys saw me struggling earlier in the video, I struggled so hard just to move that bed. It's tiny, but it was just awkward moving it. So I just need a little help sometimes. Sometimes I like to do things by myself, but um, I really like the rug or how the rug turned out in Nolan's room. I think it just ties everything together since he has blues and more neutral colors. I'm thinking maybe, I haven't decided yet. You guys know me. I'm. I can be so indecisive. I'm almost thinking about getting him a new bed and something like, um, I don't know how to explain it, but something I can put against the wall, like his wallpaper. So if you guys have any bed suggestions, definitely let me know because I feel like he really doesn't have that much space in his room. Like, you know, Aria, cause Aria's room is the same exact size. It's literally the same room, but reversed and the closet's different. Um, you guys see how her bunk bed is on the wall and she has more of an open space. I wonder if I can find a bed similar to that to open up his room a little bit more. I don't know. I might just have to keep it. You know, Harlow's bed is kind of set up like that as well. But I think eventually for the girls, I might have to get them maybe bunk beds and then maybe put Harlow's bed in Nolan's room. Not 100% sure what we're going to do yet, but you guys know us by now. We are constantly moving and shifting things around in our house. So all my clean freaks out there, my tidy people, my tidy peeps, you guys know that feeling when you get all the rooms cleaned, you get everything put away, you get all the clothes put away, you're caught up on laundry for the most part. <laughs> I feel like I'm never officially caught up on laundry, but you know that feeling. You get everything vacuumed. Ugh, I love, love that feeling and that's why I partially do these videos not only to show you guys of course what I'm doing but also to motivate and inspire you guys as well I know at the end of the day these are just cleaning videos right they're just cleaning you're just watching me clean my house maybe they're only entertaining or provide relaxation either way I hope that they are doing something for you guys if they're not motivating or inspiring you at least doing something that's at least what I hope so that's why I love doing these videos and love giving you guys ideas as well. I've said many times, I watch other people doing these videos, like cleaning, motivation, organization. It gives me ideas, it gives me inspiration, and honestly gives me motivation to clean my own house. So I do hope that you guys are still enjoying these videos. If you guys want to give me any feedback or anything else that you guys would like to see, definitely leave that in the comments down below. But we are actually getting towards the end of this cleaning and organization video. I think that's what it's gonna be. It's gonna be a cleaning and organizing with us. I'm getting some stuff done around the house this weekend. This clip is actually giving me so many flashbacks to when we did, or when this was the girls' room and we did the closet makeover and I just remember putting all of their clothes up. But now you guys saw previously, they have a huge closet for all of their clothes and this is like the perfect size for Fletcher. But 
I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching this video and supporting us. This channel, I was just thinking about this the other day, I was thinking this channel means so much to me or so much to both of us I should say because we genuinely love doing this type of content for you guys. We love cleaning, well you guys know I love cleaning and organizing in general so I do it regardless, I just film it <laughs> on top of that. But Frank was also saying how he missed doing DIY projects as well, we have just been super busy with engraving and the laser so he's it takes a lot of time for him to do that so he hasn't been able to do that but now that we've kind of gotten into our own groove and routine we're hoping to incorporate more projects in the future and before this video ends I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how the kids rooms turned out how their rooms look now with the rugs I honestly should have filmed a before but now you can see how clean and organized their rooms are but just want to say thank you you guys so much please give this video a like if you like this video don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in our next more with Moros video bye guys also really quickly don't forget to check out the dreamy d9 robot vacuum all of that information will be down below